Chris the guy, seemingly out of nowhere, posted a video that got over 100,000 views in 11 days. I wanted to find out how did he do it, so here's my conversation with Chris. All right, Chris, how are you doing, man? Dude, I'm doing awesome, man. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, man, I'm <laughs> glad to have you here. So I wanted to reach out because you're part of the YouTube uh, Business Academy community and you know, uh, also you've enrolled into the uh, YouTube Shorts Acceleration Program. And I've been keeping an eye on you and you know, you've been doing some great stuff on YouTube. You have one of your videos that went completely viral where you did, you know, you tried YouTube Shorts for 30 days. And I mean, I gotta say, the storytelling in that video and the editing is on point, man. So yeah, listen, for anyone who's watching and you know, they, don't, they don't know you, introduce yourself, how you got started with YouTube, um, you know, you have interesting content then where you are right now and how this all came about, man. Yeah, man. I mean, like everybody, you always kind of try stuff like when you're a little kid. Like I have my oldest channels back in like 2010. So I, I just posted a bunch there for like a few years, stopped, went back going, but I kind of ditched that and then just started just a bunch of different channels. So I think this is up my sixth or seventh and it's finally, you know, this one's successful or starting to get traction and so are like my faceless ones. But yeah, I mean, I always wanted to do it, but not just YouTube, but just like online business. Uh, you know, going through years, I saw how you had like a bunch of like uh, different things too, you know, like with drop shipping, with drop servicing. Um, that's yeah. actually how I found you. Yeah. But no, I, I tried a bunch of things, man. I tried affiliate marketing. I tried Amazon. I tried eBay. Um, I tried Shopify drop shipping, digital drop shipping. Uh, yeah. And now YouTube is the one that actually stuck. I'm actually doing it consistently. So like, I know this is like the path to it yeah so, yeah um, exactly. i'm glad to be here yeah man that's that's how i feel as well you know like you said i've tried all kinds of different things but youtube is the one that kind of stuck with me as well and i've start, started like now i'm starting to understand what it means to like double down on something you know how they say that yeah. but now you really start to understand but listen uh some of your first content on your on your channel this one um chris the guy first off pretty cool name uh i like that but um you started with car sales right you want to talk a little bit about that so i graduated back in 2019 biochemistry and molecular biology didn't want to do anything with that so i'm like had a break up there and knew i had to go ahead and get out of it and do something to put myself out there so that's why i did sales because personally i don't like talking to a lot of people and i knew it put me out of my comfort zone and i'd be forced to interact with so many people and then not have to think of that breakup i know i'm getting in that but I might as well say it. So like, it just got me focused like those 12, 13, 14 hour days, just grinding it there. And don't get me wrong, I was awful that first year, but um, I stuck through it even though everybody was like, yo, I'm surprised you didn't quit. Like like a few months they, they were saying that and I'm like, yeah, no, cause inside I'm like, bro, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't stay here. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. um, but yeah, no, I, I kept at it. There's some other like personal stuff I put there, but um, no, eventually I went from being the worst in the Hyundai one, switched over to Volkswagen because they thought it was a better fit and, you know, I'm glad it, I did because it actually was. I ended yeah. up doing a lot better, doing the best there, so uh, something clicked there. Even yeah, though I'm like yeah. not the most aggressive person out there, I guess people like me enough to go ahead and, you know, give me a chance. So, nah, that's cool, man. That's cool. That's and you also had a video where I saw where you showed how you uh, survived and you made meals for, <laughs> you know, and that just showcased because like, you know, those videos for creators, like I'm sure, you know, you're going to do great on YouTube. Like I, I honestly think that, but you know, making those videos when you really don't know what you're doing and then looking back at them brings you so much joy and such great memories. So... You know, it's still it's still early to like, you know, say that and everything. But like looking back, I love to go back at creators like all this videos and see what they did initially and see how they were and everything. And you can kind of see that uh, their personality was like a little bit showing to start off on camera, but they were still really looking for it as well. But yeah, I thought it was a really creative video of you showing how you survived on, a, on, on so little with the food. No, like like when I did that, I lived alone. I was like frugal AF. Um, yeah. Like during that, because like I just saved as much as I can. I barely spent anything there. Uh, I mean, the big purchases I made were like tech, like my Mac I bought. But no, I was like super frugal when it comes to money there. So, like with food, like I mean, you saw what I ate. I still yeah. eat that now. So it's like, yeah, not not much changed there for that. But no, like going back to old content, I still go back and see it. I'm like, wow, 
Like, it's been two years, and then I look at the even older stuff, the cringe stuff when I was like 13, 14, making like parodies of uh, music videos. I'm like, gosh, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. right. So then kind of evolving, how did you discover or how did you come about, uh, you know, YouTube automation, faceless channels? Um, yeah, kind of how did, what, what led you into that? So I think... So I didn't know it at the time, but like everything started when I was in, in, in college because like I created a faceless channel there. It's like a top 10. I did it like a few videos, but I kind of like gave up there. But I liked the idea of that. And then eventually I just stopped. I like forgot about it. And then it resurfaced again, just like, you know, going through your suggested your browser. I'm like, oh, shit, sure, this is kind of interesting. You know, I see you. I see um, Ryan Hildreth. I see Matt Parr. I even see Yuri. Um, those were like some of the guys I was like listening to and then I'm like all right you know this is a big thing and I'm like all right I want to get into this and me as a person I'm I'm, I'm an easy sale that, that's what I like to think of it like people are easy sales I'm an easy sale too so that's why right. I worked in sales so I'm like all right let me buy this course let's see what's up with it and just go all in because it, it like puts me in a um, it puts me in a position that like all right like you invested this money this is what you want to do yeah this is what you want to do so like you go all in for it and that's oh, part of the reason why I joined you guys too. I want to see what's going on everywhere, um, not just with, man. not just with the faceless, with the long format, but with the with the shorts too. I mean, I knew that's going to be huge, and you guys were saying that. I'm like, all right, like let me be part of this case study. Um, let me put my name out there, you know, first of all too, because that's what's going to happen. So I'm like, yeah. all right, let me invest this thousand bucks in that, um, and yeah. you know, just just put it all out there and do it. The so. more exposure you, I think, the more exposure you you put the more expo the more you expose yourself to opportunities and different things it, it it's weird how life works you know you start to get these different like opportunities and everything but all right let's get to the juicy stuff i want to hear about this video man i've never in my youtube career had a video and i think mk bhz said the same thing that blew up like that you know you went from what from 500 subs to Two and a half, three k by now, probably. It's it's like at twenty eight right now. Yeah, tw yeah, twenty eight hundred exactly. So, you went like what five times? Uh, you increased your uh, subscriber count by five times. Uh, that fully like you monetized your channel. You're now approved. So congrats on that, man. Tell me, tell me how that all happened with that video. I want to know. I want to pick your brain. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I knew shorts was big, so I started posting the Gary V shorts on my channel to go ahead and gain traction. And I'm like, you know what? This isn't the right way to do it, cause like, I don't, I didn't have a big audience at the time. I had like maybe 100, 150 subs, and I'm like, I don't want to put this out and be seen as that, just like a person just posting random stuff. I'm like, let me actually do it in a separate channel, and gain the subs there, see what I can do with it. And so I'm like, I just made that case study to go ahead and do that for fun to see how much I can gain. And then I'm like, I might as well put it out there too. Cause it's like it can be a video content and i mean from like looking at my previous videos like a lot a lot of them were garbage <laughs> like the retention and i just wanted to go ahead and change you know what i'm doing with it because i keep seeing over and over with with the storytelling aspect to try to like grab somebody's attention in the beginning so that's what i tried doing um i tried doing it before with like my ai video it did it, it got decently well but not as well as this one but i follow the same format so uh, I mean, I'm just glad it blew up and, you know, uh, you know, I could learn a lot from that. So I was, I was pretty happy. I was stoked because like after a day, I see like a thousand views. I'm like, bro, this is going to be big because like usually in the day, I'm like, all right, 10 views. I'm like, sweet. All right, I'm good. 100 <laughs> views. OK, OK. And now I'm seeing a thousand. I'm like, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, but no, it's crazy growth. And, you know, I'm glad people are like commenting positive stuff and just giving me genuine feedback. Um, so I'm like, you know, being receptive to everything there because that's one thing I'm always uh, open to, which is like, I don't care if you're big, I don't care if you're small, you always got something to say. Like, I'm here to listen, regardless of like what your experience is, because you can always learn something from somebody. So Yeah, I agree with I'm that, man. And I love, I love that attitude and that, you know, um, your way towards life. I think I admire that. I think that's really cool. But I wanted to go a little bit deeper. You said, so you started experimenting with this story. Um, storytelling format and this is i think to me this is probably the most interesting thing in this conversation 
I want you to go deeper into your thought process, your planning process of and like editing and filming and everything. Like, how do you put a video like that together? If you were to tell me, like, I want to make a video like that, right? Like a story type of thing. How do I go about structuring it, scripting it, and like, you know, editing and all that? What's your thought process? I mean, I think everything comes down to the planning. Like, if I just shoot a video, just freestyle it, it's going to be hard to make an engaging video, um, especially if you don't have any uh, context. Uh, so I, usually I think of like the challenges, they're fun to do. For me, it's, it's a fun thing because like I get distracted easily. So I'm like, if I do a challenge, I can at least make a video out of it and make an excuse like, oh, it's just for a video. When for me, right. it's like really, I want to test this out. Like um, with Etsy, for example, I, I have that that I did for a month, but um, I start with that idea and then for the script I saw there's two approaches because because I was seeing the main approach I was seeing was like oh this is my first week this is my second week my third week but I never really saw things go more fast-paced and also showing um, how it's done but still showing the results at the same time enough to be engaged because um, you know when I watch it like I smile because I'm like oh shoot I would actually watch this so that's how I know like other people probably would too um, as far as yeah so I always script it out sentence by sentence make them short um, I have a Google Doc and then with that like I always I just point the camera at me I like read a sentence and then mess up and then keep doing sentence by sentence by sentence until I finish the whole thing like my five minute video was like 30 minutes worth of a roll so that was <laughs> yeah and then there's um I forgot what the youtuber is I'm not think media but um Creator Academy, it, it's um, channel maker. I don't know, but it's it's one of those. And I saw like the huge importance of B roll because people don't just want to see a standalone video. They want to see things pop up on the screen, things move. So in my first iterations of trying to do that, I didn't have enough because I was lazy. And I'm like, well, you gotta put in the work, put all of it now. So get as much B roll as possible. Um, like in the Google Doc, I go ahead and highlight words and sentences and be like, all right, this can be a B-roll for this. This can be B-roll for that. So it just mm. gives me idea. So I go back after I do the A-roll. Uh, honestly, I'm tired and I'm like, I don't want to do this, but it's I have to. <laughs> and I, I plan um, the videos I could make. So it's like, oh, I could re screen record uh, this channel. I could, you know, screen record analytics. I can go ahead and, you know, be reading in my desk, just something like that. And I feel like doing it that way just gives it so much more personality versus just getting and using non-copyrighted footage or images because I think the audience will see like the work in it and you know I've gotten some comments like that too so um, that puts me in like a good sense that I'm going in the right direction and you know I'm glad people are noticing those things too and I leave like little easter eggs kind of like oh subscribe if you see this or no comment if you see this and I had some people like be like I commented because of this I'm like oh shoot it worked <laughs> <laughs> but, nice but but yeah in, in the end this this channel Chris the guy is really to document my journey um, it's to make it fun to put my face out there too uh, and be more comfortable in a camera and just talking to people so yeah that, that was the main goal for this one um, but for the faceless you know th those are different things there I think you mentioned a very interesting thing that I wanted to touch on is um, you said that you were watching your video and you were smiling, right? And you would say, oh, this is something that I would watch myself. And this is an idea that I also preach as in make videos that you would want to watch yourself. So is that an idea that you subscribe to as well, that you, you want to make content? Obviously, you know, making every video like that, especially if you want to kind of make videos all the time, or at least for me. But like, do you think that's making videos that you would want to watch yourself is a good indicator or a good rule of thumb to follow for people watching? I'd say so, but you also have to think like, what's the purpose of the video? Is it to entertain? Is it to educate? Like yeah. I'm experimenting with those two things, like an educational content, like it's going to be semi bland, semi boring. So I don't think about the entertainment as much. I think of like, is what I'm saying, gonna resonate with people is this like actionable steps that people can take so i tried doing that in my um you know how to start a youtube shorts channel video and it was just a different format it was kind of rough but i think i got my point across 
and showed enough value if people watched all the way through to actually learn something. Um, whereas with the entertainment ones, yeah, it would be more of like, hey, this is something I would watch. Like, yeah. uh, you know, you see like, oh, a 30-day dropshipping challenge. It, it, it stimulates like, oh, shoot, I want to make money and hey, this is fun. So it's like it put two things together. Um, and the third one is like, are you going to take action on actually doing that or is that just going to be entertainment? So it leaves like two different types of audiences there. That's the way I like to think of it. I think it's very interesting what you just said there about how different videos have different purposes and understanding what's the purpose of your video puts you ahead of everybody else because then you can focus on the thing that matters for that video. Right. Like um, I have a... <laughs> This wasn't for this or planned. Like I, I have this on my chair. I look at it. I put like different content types that I that I plan on doing for the year. Um, okay. I even made a poll about this. But like, what does it say? The the the, the first types are content or what did I say? Talking head updates. These are gonna be like, they're gonna be boring. Uh, I don't. I personally, I don't think people would really care much of it. But it's more so to like, say what's going on there. Um, like it's pretty raw. Kind of like this. This is raw. Just talking, talking head, little little edits. Second one would be analytics updates, which would be like, all right, let me take you behind the scene. Let, let me show you a breakdown of the analytics. I think that can provide a lot of value to people. Um, it's not gonna be too entertaining, but it's gonna provide some education. Be like, okay, so this is what X niche does. This is how long it took to grow. Um, this is why it's stagmented. And I'm also doing like an analytics breakdown of like, here's all my different videos on a spreadsheet. Not the titles, of course, but just like how many views it got, the CTR, the AVD, like on day one, day seven, and then current. Just so oh, you're doing that? All that? I was doing that. I stopped, but I'm doing that for the end of the month and just going through all the videos again, just doing that. Um, so I think that would provide, you know, some value and interest. Um, the other one is tutorials. This is more so for like, you guys are all about search based. So that's what I'm trying to do this channel to make it search based as well. Hence the how to make shorts. It's going to, I think it's going to do good in 2023. So those are the ones that are like more methodical, thought out, make sure you do a good job, but don't expect a lot of views in the beginning, which I'm okay with, but it's gonna help people in the long run. And right. then um, this is for later on like motivational stuff because personally, like I like personal development, like, you know, you know, reading books, exercising, I wanna put that out there too, but eventually it just doesn't fit with the niche yet, but that's like a plan for later on. Yeah. And my my challenges, like I said, 30, 60, 90 challenges, it's, um. It's two Man, reasons. That's a one, great plan. One, one to get my urge out, honestly, because like I see so many ideas that I want to do. Like, I know I stopped dropshipping, I stopped, but it's still there. Because I'm imagining like 18, 19, 20 year old Chris when he wanted to do that, and he's like, "Don't stop, don't stop doing that." I still stopped and continued. I'm like, "Well, I might as well make a video out of it eventually." Um, yeah. Digital, affiliate, whatever, just something like that, and. It gets the urge out and plus it's fun. I think people want to see that. I like seeing that. It's fun seeing people either like blow up with that. Like, oh shoot, I made a thousand dollars in a month doing this. Or like, hey guys, I made five bucks. Or hey, I actually <laughs> lost $327. So yeah, that's yeah. that. And I'm trying to be as open as possible. Like with my analytics breakdown, I'm like, all right, I'm, I, I lost 99%. I lost 95%. But the next month I'm like, I lost 89%. And it's like, if you stay through the whole thing, cause I know, like I know in my mind, because I'm constantly asking questions, I'm involved in different groups and involved in different, uh, like before this call, I was in a discord call, just listening to like, just more about YouTube and growth and sponsorship deals. Uh, so I'm constantly in that space, just learning and learning as much as I can and implementing there. So I know I may be at a loss now, but like the potential for later on is, is there. It's going to be, it's going to be huge. I, I know that. And you know, I once, don't doubt it. <laughs> once it happens. And then once I start saying the same things I was saying that I am now, it's going to be a lot more reputable in my end. Cause I'm like, Oh shoot. He actually has the results versus he's losing money. And yeah. Yeah. So it's listen, it's I, don't, fun I, losing don't, it, but. I don't, I don't doubt it as well, man. And I'm sure like that you are going to do really well on YouTube and you know, you have such an open personality. Uh, like you have a really genuine smile. So yeah, I think, um, you know, I've never met you, but seeing you now talking with you here through, uh, you know, my screen, I, I can relate to you. And I feel, and I feel that if we would hang out, we would have a good time, you know? And I think that's what really, you know, the viewer can, can feel that through the camera and 
you have a really good vibe to it, man. So yeah, I'm sure you're gonna do well with YouTube. Just, uh, you know, you're on a really, really, really good path here. And I wanted to reach out, talk to you, and I'm sure all of you guys watching as well are appreciating Chris. So make sure to go subscribe to him. And uh, yeah, Chris, thank you so much for your time. And it was a pleasure talking to you. Awesome, you too, George. See you, man. All right, take care, bye.